Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I have the rubberneck blues for you. Because this is how we trip when people say stuff about us behind our back, don't we? No, she didn't say that about me. She just lied. And we go off, don't we? We want to get up and, what, I heard you said blah, blah, blah. Come on now. So they said it. You know how you need to look at those silly lies, which are usually spoken out because of someone's jealousy of you. But anyway, we want to even go into that silliness. Think about the silly stuff they said about you. Think about it. What is that going to do? To your bank account. What is that going to do. To your appearance. Nothing. What does that have to do. With your relationship with God. Or your relationship with someone else. Now I say this. If someone else buys into the lie. Without even dealing with you first. They never were a friend in the first place. Anytime somebody plays prosecutor, judge, and jury, and executioner, and have never given you one moment to defend yourself or explain, that means they were never your friend. Because friends cherish the love and relationship. And oftentimes friends ignore that nonsense. Because they, in their mind, will say, oh, she wouldn't do that. They're, they're tripping. So don't worry so much about what they said about you. It really is neither here nor there. As important as you may think it is, it's not. Have you ever... Okay, I know you're human. Have you ever broken wind mm -hmm. and it stunk and you tried to run from it so nobody would know where it came from? Mm. Well, guess what? In a moment, it's gone, isn't it? And don't let the air conditioner be on. <laughs> gone. Even if you're in the house by yourself, you let out a little something, something, and that little air bubble is gone. It pops, it stinks, it's gone. Well, guess what? That's the way you have to look at the stupidity that comes out of people's mouths. Silly, small people, ignore them. Don't engage. Don't get entangled. They'll have you so tied up in a knot over nonsense. Before you know it, you're about to get up in somebody's behind. Talking about, oh Lord, please help me. No, you help yourself. Ignore it. Don't give it any any store, any credence. Don't give it any attention. Somebody says, you know, so and so said so and so about you. Girl, you need to you need to get her told. You did that 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 that. Oh, girl, don't even worry about that nonsense. I ain't stunned in that crap. And don't. I mean, I don't care if it hurts and you're trying to play it off. You get along with God and say, Lord, take the heart out and shut the mouth. Don't let it have any negative repercussions because I really don't want to have to deal with that childishness. And sometimes that is God's way of showing you that that is somebody you need to cut loose. That is a poison. That is someone that has been planted by Satan to spoil your feast of charity. Not all friends are friends. Take that to the bank.